Hey guys, it's Swishy K. Is this video late? Yes, it's very late. But to be fair, when I first saw the event, I did not realize it was a official Roblox event. And I have been insanely busy lately, but you know what? Better late than never, as they say. However, I hope you had the chance to participate in the event, and if you didn't, well, it seems like the hub is staying open, so there is a chance next year for you to, to try out as well. Now, we all remember the hunt, unfortunately, which I made clear I had a very clear distaste for. The games were wildly varying in quality, it, there was mostly money grabs in it. Also, the hub, it was nothing. Roblox put, like, minimal effort, and there was no quality control amongst all that. However, the Classic Edition event, I think, is a massive improvement. And I think it's showing that Roblox is somewhat considering what we're saying and what feedback they're receiving. The hub, it was expansive. There was several things to run around and explore, such as a racetrack, obby with some hidden paths, and many other things that are all constructed with basic Roblox physics. As that's the point of the event, it was all about celebrating the old of Roblox, you know, back in the simpler days. Examples of this was minecart. It was simply just some rolling wheels with two pegs attaching it to a cart, a racetrack, which of course led to some rough, but you know, fun rides. It was actually a lot of fun finding all the hidden activities and easter eggs over throughout the map, so that color me impressed, Roblox. You actually did a good hub. Now, in terms of what the event was, you collected ticks and tokens around the map, and in some select games to earn avatar items. There were about 160 ticks total and 80 tokens, so not as mindlessly grindy as the hunt. You didn't even need them all to unlock the reward. In terms of games participating, there was some quality control, but there were also a lot less there. I still wish Roblox would use this ability to shift focus on some less mainstream games. See, because a lot of the things I hit off on Roblox, they're mostly money grabs, you know, bright, colorful, and they're very... They lack substance, but you know, when you dig around Roblox, you'll find some really nice games on there that people are just not aware of because the way Roblox system works, it just doesn't promote them. And I really wish for these events that they would, you know, they would look around for games or ask developers to demonstrate games for these events, you know, and like create some special edition ones and, you know, just to show them off a little bit. It would be nice Roblox. It would be like, especially a Halloween event. Oh, I'm just ecstatic imagining it, but just like, what if they went around and they said, Hey guys, we know you guys are pretty good at this. Why don't you make us some nice horror games? It would be a dream. It would be a dream. Now, <laughs> sorry. I will say though, out of the games present, I thought Dress to Impress was one of the best ones for this event. And I say that because they created an entire new hub for this. It was a really gorgeously sculpted with some lovely styling to it. It was um, Obby. Now there were some challenges in it, but overall it was it wasn't the hardest to complete and it was rather pleasant. Some of the other games just hid items along the way or reused an already existing quest. I really appreciate it for events when developers and stuff, they add something unique for that event to make it feel special and make it more fun to participate. Now the rewards for the hub were rather lackluster as we all remember, but I feel that Classic Edition outdid themselves, I think. They actually had some decent stuff, ticks were to unlock the hub toys, and tokens were to unlock some pretty nice avatar items. They seem to be Greek god themed and rather tempting indeed, especially the first one. It was not insanely grindy to unlock these. I got everything except for the last item. I was one off, sadly, in just the morning. Now there is a gold unlock, and I, you know, I don't really appreciate it. It's like just like the last bit, but I know they need to make more money, of course. Uh. But this time around, I don't know, I, I still have mixed feelings on it. The Avatar sets uh, were Treasure Finder and Timeless Vault Gear. I think that's how you say that, but they weren't a near, they weren't nearly as expensive as the freaking other one that was in the hub. That thing was like 40k Robux or something, like insane. These ones are 14k, which still insane in my eyes. 
but way better. However, I guess to compensate that, the path to just go unlock them on their own without the avatar sets were I like double the price. I think originally they were around 30-ish for starting for the hub. And while classic edition, it was like over a hundred Robux, so I, I guess they have to up the price somewhere if they're decreasing it on one. Um <laughs> But you know what? It didn't ruin the event. And it wasn't the main thing. I still didn't feel it was worth, you know, doing the extra effort and spending that money on those items. I don't think that gold skin texture is. But I know some people really like that exclusivity of some things. But I thought it was rather ugly in my opinion. So while exploring the, the hub for Classic Edition, I also noticed this really unique portal in the back which got me excited. I was like, ooh, what's this? And it readed, it just leaded back to the hunt. So what I'm assuming the hunt is now is just a general area for all future events. Just the big overlawing hub. Which is a little confusing to me because it was supposedly made especially for Easter. But it's not. So I hope next year perhaps the Easter event will get its own little hub on its own. Uh, something really nice and fun to explore a map like, you know, the classic edition or like, you know, the previous Easter events that we've had. Ugh, that'd be a dream come true. So we'll see in the future. There's some promises. There's some that could go wrong. There is a chance too that they might just reuse these places and not make anything new. Something I'm a little concerned about, but you know what? It's still early on. We'll find out about that next year if they do decide to just reuse these places rather than, you know, amp them up and actually make these events unique each year. So, what does this all mean? Well, Roblox is improving. They're not the most greediest of people out there. Otherwise, they wouldn't even try with the Classic Edition. And they would just use the, the hunt space all over again and just change nothing. So, I appreciate them changing what they did and it proves that we might have some positive things to look forward to for the next year and maybe even next year now with the classic edition it does show they're going to make some smaller events so perhaps we'll have things like halloween maybe a christmas one or they could just make other celebratory ones like the classic edition there's a lot of potential there and i really do hope roblox give us some more events that just you know gathers all the care all the players together just have a lot of fun well that's all i had for today i hope you enjoyed it please let me know your thoughts about this event and everything else and i'll see you next time Bye bye